do this math for me. I invented something that people buy and don't sell, and they literally lock it up on. A- How long do you think the average stake length is in Hex? I'm not sure. You said it could be all over the place, right? I mean, it could be a day or a week or a month or yeah, a year or yeah. two years. So it could be from a day to 15 years. So I'm not How sure. long do you think the average stake length is? Maybe it could be 15 years, maybe? Am I crazy? Can't be that. Nah, you can't average the max. Yeah, okay. It's, so it's five and a half years. Five and a half, okay. And it goes up. It only goes up. So <laughs> this fucking system I designed, you're going to love this. How do you approximate compounding interest? You can either give rewards to older stakeholders and beat the shit out of the database, having the right to all of these old stakeholders. Or you could be smart and just give the new guys less because it's just a ratio of what these people have versus these other people, right? And then that's computationally efficient. You just change the share price. So you end up with a chart of share price that only goes up and never goes down. In hex terms, the share price only goes up and never goes down, and that's how we simulate compounding interest. That's how we make it so that the guys that got in earlier always do better than the guys that got in later, just like any other compounding system. So you get a price chart that only goes up forever. That's fucking awesome. God, I what if people wanted to sell, though? So like, eventually, wouldn't they? Don't people always well, then you just sell. Yeah. People sell, man. <laughs> when you yeah. see 60% dips on the chart, motherfuckers be selling. Mm-hmm. And we've had six or seven. We've had, like, six 60% dips. So dips are in the game. But you always end up with new all-time highs. So who gives a fuck? That's an opportunity for people to buy a bottom and sell a top instead of selling a bottom and buying a top. It's just transfer of wealth from the inpatient to the patient. So in Hex, if you want to maintain the number of shares you have, and every time you go to restake, the fucking share price is higher, the only way that you can get back the shares you used to have is to add more money or to stake longer. And so you have this natural tendency for people to keep making longer stakes to keep getting back the same amount of shares they used to have back when they bought when the share price was lower because the share price went up 2,000x. So you have a chart that only goes up and to the right forever, the share price chart in hex terms, and you have a constant lengthening of commitment to try and get back what you used to have until people just capitulate and they just make a giant long fucking stake. Because you have to pay gas fees every time you restake too. It's fucking amazing. I created a system. I call it the liquid. Uh, I call it the the truth engine, where you get rewarded for doing what you said you're going to do. You get rewarded for delaying gratification. You get rewarded for holding the price up and protecting the price. And what other honorable fucking things are there? That these are the most important things to any speculative asset. Everything else is narrative meme hype bullshit. So well, we monetize the only thing the price chart cares about. And everybody else, they make up excuses like world computer and unstoppable computing and all this other bullshit to get people to try and buy and hold. But those are just narrative fucking memes that aren't true. 